Vocaloid, the Hatsune Miku effect, Hatsune Miku, and the anime they are from. What is Vocaloid? We will go over this in a variety of topics. A vocal synthesizer is given a face. A star is born, Hatsune Miku. Vocaloid spreads like wildfire. What anime are they from? Global Takeover. A vocal synthesizer is given a face. In 2000, Hideki Kenmochi, the father of Vocaloid, begins development on the Vocaloid program, a vocal synthesizer program for use in music, originally not for commercial use. In 2002, the development was being done with three companies, Yamaha, Zero G Limited, and Krypton Media Future. In 2004, the Vocaloid program is released with three representatives, Miriam, Leon, and Lola, and a fourth, Mako, joining in, in November of 2004. In 2005, Mako, the Krypton Media Future developed Vocaloid, voice provided by singer-songwriter Haigo Mako, sells over 3,000 copies and becomes the best-selling Vocaloid to date. February of 2006, Kaito, Krypton Media Future male Vocaloid character, is released. Unfortunately, it fails to sell, and thus Krypton Media Future abandons efforts to make another vo male Vocaloid until December of 2007, with the release of Kagamine Len, which was a joint release with Kagamine Rin. On November 26, 2006, the critically acclaimed anime movie Paprika uses the Lola Vocaloid voice bank. Unfortunately, even after being used in the film, Vocaloid is still not flying off the shelves as the creators had hoped. In the year 2007, Krypton Media brought to life a 16-year-old idol by the name of Hatsune Miku. Officially debuting on August 31st of 2007, Hatsune Miku took the music world by storm. In under a week, she becomes the fastest record-selling Vocaloid, surpassing the number of sales Miku made in one year. She continues to smash records, selling 40,000 copies by the end of 2007. More than any copies of every Vocaloid combined. Kagamine Ren and Len barely even come in second with 20,000 copies sold their first year. A star is born, Hatsune Miku. 2009 was a big year for Vocaloid. In January 2009, Megurin Luka, Krypton Media first bilingual Vocaloid was released. On July 2nd of 2009, Sega released the first of many Project Diva games on the PlayStation Portable. On December 2009, Miku Append Dark and Soft Trial version were released. Miku Append is kind of a 1.5 version of Miku. Vocaloid spreads like wildfire. Soon, Vocaloid becomes one of the most popular genres amongst many of the otaku, nerd, and music communities. The character of Hatsune Miku's marketability is discovered by companies like Good Sega, Good Smile Company, and many others. Good Smile Company even goes so far as entering into the racing circuit with Good Smile Racing, which uses Hatsune Miku as their racing queen. Kind of like a racing cheerleader. In a short time, Hatsune Miku is almost a household name in Japan as Pikachu and Hello Kitty. Vocaloid spreads like wildfire. And there are now thousands of different Vocaloid characters from several different companies that each have a fan base of their own. Krypton Media holds at least three annual concerts, Magical Mirai, Miku Expo, and the Miku Symphony. And at least one other Vocaloid, Aie of First Place, has had their own concert. Global Takeover Vocaloid has taken over the globe as one of the most popular idols in existence, even surpassing human idols. In 2014, Hatsune Miku opened for Lady Gaga's tour. In that same year, Pharrell Williams remixed live tunes Hatsune Miku track Last Night, Good Night. What anime are they from? Hatsune Miku, and in turn Vocaloid, have become so popular that a meme, what anime is she from, was created. And of course, Hatsune Miku has surpassed that meme and in a moment of art imitating life, has starred or cameoed in several anime. These animes include Dropkick on My Devil, 
or Miku's leak is purchased by one of the characters for 100 yen, of which Miku originally purchased for 90 yen. Shinkansen Henkai Robo Shinkai Lion, where Miku pilots a mech Shinkan Lion H5 Hayabusa. Lucky Star, where one of the characters cosplay as Hitsune Miku, and of course, by far the biggest anime reference, Black Rock Shooter, which is an OVA, a series, and has evolved into its very own franchise, which originally was based on a Supercell song of the same name that was itself inspired by a huge illustration, Black Rock Shooter. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. I apologize. It seems that one of my slides did not, it did not, did not, did not. No, that was the end. I am sorry. <laughs> that was the end of the, that was the end of the PowerPoint. I hope you enjoyed that little PowerPoint and learned some new things. Goodbye.